All right, this video is going to be on graphing a quadratic equation. We called this method standard form. You can also refer to it as general form. So step one is similar to the previous video where if you're leading coefficient is greater than zero, it's going to open up. If that leading coefficient is a negative less than zero, it's going to open down. Determining the vertex of the parabola, you're going to take opposite of b over 2a and then evaluate the function. Step three, we're going to find the x-intercepts by the zero product property. The y-intercept, we're going to compute f of zero. And then step five is to graph that y-intercept, x-intercept, um, vertex, and any additional points. So here's our example. Step one is to identify does it open up or down. So we're going to identify the a as negative one, the b is negative two, and the c is one. So since my a value is a negative, it's going to open down. Now we're going to find the vertex point. So we're going to start with this equation, x equals negative b over 2a. And then simplify the numerator as a positive, simplify the denominator as negative 2, simplify the fraction as negative 1. So this equation, x equals negative 1, is also called your axis of symmetry. Now we're going to substitute that x value into the function. So we're going to say f of negative 1. Now we do our orders of operation, PEMDAS. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Do our multiplication, negative 1, positive 2, positive 1. Combine those terms together, giving you 2. So the vertex, this is your x and this is your y of your vertex. We're going to write it as an ordered pair. Negative 1, comma, 2. This is your axis of symmetry. All right, moving on, we're going to find the x-intercepts. So we're going to set this function equal to 0 and solve for x. So one method is to try to factor it. If you can't factor it, we're going to use the quadratic formula. And we've already worked on some quadratic formula problems where you substitute the a, b, and c into the quadratic formula. So I'm not going to review that again. Feel free to ask me in class if you'd like. So let's say we go through and do the quadratic formula. You're going to get two solutions, two plus or minus the square root of eight over negative 2. So then what you need to do is you need to use your calculator and say 2 plus the square root of 8 divided by negative 2 and your calculator is negative 2.4. Then you do this again with your calculator. You're going to go 2 minus the square root of 8 divided by negative 2 and you're going to get approximately 0.4. We do need to write those as ordered pairs as such. So those are your order pairs for your x-intercepts. We're going to wait on the domain and the range. The axis of symmetry equation we found up above. 
it's that x equals negative 1. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and graph this function. So to graph it, we're going to identify the important pieces on the graph. So I'm going to go ahead and just stretch out this graph a bit. All right, so our vertex was negative 1 up to, our 1x intercept was at negative 2.4, and then 0.4, and then our y intercept was over 0 up 1. Now we're going to go ahead and create our curve. You know what, this step didn't have the um, finding the y-intercept. Let me check here. It had the vertex, the x-intercepts, but it's missing the um, y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, you're going to evaluate the function for zero. So you say f of 0 equals negative 0 squared minus 2 times 0 plus 1 and then simplify it and you get 1. So that y-intercept also needs to be written as an ordered pair.